the trip just started and we spent the first hour in the craziest traffic I've ever seen in my life. We are swerving in between motorbikes and cars and trucks and everyone is honking. Luckily, I think it can only get better from here. Seriously? What the fuck did I get myself into? I'm climbing a mountain on foot because it's just too steep to ride up. It's crazy, like seriously crazy. My guide is asking me if I'm enjoying the view. I'm like, are you joking? All I see in front of me is a gigantic hill and rocks. My thighs are burning. My arms are shaking and I have a splitting headache from this altitude. Did I mention that there's nothing enjoyable out there? I know about 10 people who've come to Nepal and they said it's the most magical place on earth. If by magical, they mean there's a lot of hills. Then you. I just had the most delicious lunch of vegetable dumplings. <coughs> and now it's all coming up. <laughs> I buy vegetable dumplings. Yesterday, the only things I was feeling was angry and super fucking pissed off. And I was lying in bed last night thinking, how am I going to possibly do 11 days of this? I have clean water to drink. Yay. Jesus Christ. I just ran into a tree that fell over. My bike is stuck. Another thing I'm grateful for is these incredibly padded shorts that feel like diapers because today the only part of my body that wasn't sore was my butt. just realized that's probably because I walked the whole time. I just fell over for like the 20th time, but this was the worst. I skinned my knee, I fell over into that huge mud puddle. We've reached what Sarose calls a river, so it's taking my bike across. So I have no idea how I'm going to get across here. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful that I'm not sitting behind a desk right now. I'm trying to get across this hill without falling down the steep cliff. I'm thankful that it's not pouring out right now. Oh my God. I literally, like, I want to cry right now. <laughs> this is, oh my God. Oh my God, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. I literally am like in between crying and laughing. I don't know which one I need to do. Yeah, there's no way I am riding down this thing. This is so bumpy. Holy crap. I like living out of my comfort zone. But this is like out of my comfort zone every second. All day long. When I say this is crazy, I'm not kidding. This is fucking crazy. I know there must be lessons for me to learn in this. I have no idea what though. I can tell you one thing I learned for sure. I will never be mountain biking again. And these gloves that I just got right here, they're being retired. This is the one and only trip I will be using them on. He's canceled the second half of the day today because he realizes there's no way I'm gonna make it uphill on rocky terrain for 15 miles the entire way. Thank God that's canceled. So now we're just walking to another hotel which is on the top of this gigantic hill. Who considers this fun? I don't understand. We just got to this hotel. It's bonkers. Like, this is... This is not a hotel. The toilet is one of those hole in the ground things. I just took a freezing shower. We're in the middle of nowhere. The day has just started and I'm walking because this trail is so rocky. I'm told this is only about three miles downhill and then it'll get a little better. Not sure what better means. I don't know if that means uphill, downhill. It certainly does not mean flat. The things I'm grateful for today are warm showers, regular toilets, comfy beds, and clean sheets. I haven't been on a bike in about four years, so I'm not quite sure what I was thinking signing up for this trip. We've been riding through all these little villages and the countryside. Today's the first day that has actually been enjoyable. Ow, oh, my bike just ran into my leg. 
Wow, this is just gorgeous. Now I see why they call Nepal magical. I'm now feeling like a total brat for complaining about riding up the hills and down the hills and because now I'm in the middle of where the earthquake hit and I mean it's just demolished and people are rebuilding their houses and today I'm really grateful for having a place to go home. I thought I'd signed up for a leisurely bike trip around Nepal. Then I found out it was a mountain biking trip which has turned into a trekking trip holding a bike and is now just a walking trip because the Rose is carrying my bike. It's only slightly embarrassing when the cars go by and laugh at me and there's the Rose behind me. How are you? Good. Are you tired? That was just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the days are getting exponentially better. The first day was probably negative five if not lower. Day two was, God, maybe a zero. Today is definitely a six. <laughs> I have a lot of time to think as I walk up this hill. And I've been really trying to think what I'm learning on this trip. And what hit me today is that there's gonna be some real shit days that are miserable and terrifying and seem like they're never gonna end, but they do. So I just have to keep reminding myself of that in the future when I hit days like that. It's really hard to ride a motorbike in the hill. I almost died. I almost died just walking. <laughs> Today is a pretty tough riding day again because we're doing a lot of downhill. We're going through the countryside and there's these huge green hills where they've planted corn and potatoes. The Nepalese are like these superhumans carrying. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> and I'm totally in love with the little kids. Namaste. What is your name? My name is Asha. What is your name? My name is Asuka. <laughs> Along the way, we're stopping in these cute little villages. I feel like this mountain biking thing is like a metaphor for life because there are so many bumps and rocks and boulders you have to go over or go around and it's so challenging sometimes <laughs> and you want to give up but then you finally get to these flat places and it all seems worth it. Just when I think it can't get harder, it does. My heart is about to explode. It's like on fire. How do I do it? Oh, fuck. The good news is that we're climbing up a mountain. Okay. Almost there. And the place we're staying tonight is so high up that we'll probably have a really beautiful view. noise it means I have my brakes on. <laughs> so poor Sorose hears this all day long. <laughs> I'm definitely getting braver but I'm still walking a whole lot. Luckily we're making some stops along the way. First at a beautiful monastery where I met a little monk and next at a goat temple. The plans have changed a bit because of my supreme riding ability. So I've now finished up the bike trip. And for the rest of my time here, I'll be doing other adventures. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Please don't pass out, no. Okay. We fly high in the Himalayan sky. <laughs> <laughs> this is more scary than biking. <laughs> run, 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 run. Very good swing. What a way to finish.
finish my trip in Nepal. <laughs>